Hi, welcome to UVM. My name is Jack and I am a junior from Lexington, Massachusetts, a public communication major. And today, along with Charlotte and Fallon, we're going to be showing you around UVM all of the uh, academics, student support, residential life, student life, um, so you can see all the things going on on UVM's campus. UVM was established in 1791 and is the fifth oldest university in New England. It's divided up into four separate campuses that are all within walking distance of each other, and the entire campus is about 15 minutes from Church Street and downtown Burlington. I'm here to talk to you about the College of Education and Social Services. The College of Education and Social Services is very much so the College of Education and Social Services in the sense that the students, regardless of their major, are taking courses in both disciplines. So in the College of Education and Social Services, you can find a bunch of different education and teacher licensure programs, as well as majors in human development and family studies and social work. The best part about these majors is that these students are getting a ton of field experience. The college is really intentional about getting their students in the field early and often. So what that means is being in a classroom as early as your sophomore year or getting to volunteer or intern at a different community center or location around Burlington. Students are applying what they're learning in the classroom into their field practice, which makes them really prepared to continue past graduation. I'm standing outside of the Royal Tyler Theater, which is one of the homes to the College of the Arts and Sciences. The College of Arts and Sciences is the largest college at UVM, um, and it's where you'll find a smaller liberal arts feel within the context of the larger research university. This college includes majors from anthropology, biology, and chemistry all the way to sociology or zoology. It has programs like the Teacher Advisor Program and the Liberal Arts Scholars Program, which enables students to have close relationships with their professors and their peers, as well as opportunities for internships and undergraduate research. As a political science major in the College of Arts and Sciences, I currently have an internship with an environmental nonprofit that was made possible through the College of Arts and Sciences. We're now outside of Morrill Hall, which is home to the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. This is my home as a public communication major, and it's where you can study everything as small scale as molecular genetics and microbiology to everything as large scale as community and international development. There's also a strong emphasis on experiential learning, getting outside of the classroom, so this can take the form of studying abroad, internships, or working at our very own dairy barn. I'm standing outside of the Aiken Center, which is home to the Rubenstein School of Environment and Natural Resources. This is where you'll find anything related to the environment. So students in this school study things like wildlife and fisheries biology, natural resources, or sustainable parks, recreation, and tourism. The emphasis in this college is on hands-on outdoor labs. Students can be out on Mount Mansfield taking samples or on our Melisira, our research vessel, on, down on Lake Champlain, or out in the woods studying trees for several hours a week. So if you like to get your hands dirty, the Rubenstein School of Environment and Natural Resources might be for you. If you're interested in the healthcare field, our UVM College of Nursing and Health Sciences is the one for you. We have programs ranging from nursing to different disciplines within health sciences that give our students plenty of experience in field and practicum work so that they can apply what they're learning in the classroom to real world experiences. Whether you're partnering with UVM's Larner College of Medicine students in our simulation lab or partnering with nurses, doctors, and other practitioners in our UVM Medical Center, which you can see right behind me, our College of Nursing and Health Sciences sets their students up for success past graduation. Behind me, you'll see Kalkin and Ifshin Hall, which house our Grossman School of Business. As a student in the Grossman School of Business, you'll choose both the concentration and a theme to fine tune your business degree. For example, you can have a concentration in marketing with a theme in global business. You'll be learning from world-class business leaders and participating in experiential learning opportunities like internships and case competitions that allow you to apply what you're learning in the classroom to a real world experience and be prepared for graduation. We're now outside of our brand new STEM complex, which is made up of Discovery Hall, Innovation Hall, as well as Vody Hall. Vody is also home to the College of Engineering and Mathematical Sciences, which is where all of our engineering, mathematics, statistics, data science, and computer science students complete their undergraduate course and lab work. Students in this college also get access to incredible state-of-the-art lab facilities within this brand new STEM complex. 
and we have great relationships with a lot of local Burlington companies where they have internship opportunities with Burton Snowboards, 7th Generation, and Dealer.com. There's also one of the US's fastest supercomputers right here in this building. Pretty cool. Today I'm going to be talking about the Honors College. The Honors College is separate from our other seven colleges at UVM and it's where you'll find seminar style courses and a heavy research focus. In the first two years at UVM, students in the Honors College will take small, intimate courses that are discussion-based, and then in the second two years, um, they'll conduct research to write and defend a thesis. The Honors College also serves as a residential learning community for students to live among other Honors College students. Right behind me here, you'll see our Howe Library. In our Howe Library, you can head upstairs for a study session, you can stay downstairs with some friends and hang out while you get some work done, or you can access some of the different academic resources, whether that's our research librarians who are all trained in different areas to help with the specific assignments, or going downstairs to work with our writing center tutors to help flush out prompts and improve your own writing. There's a lot of helpful resources in there for all of our students. Continuing on with academic resources, if you head across Main Street, you can find our Center for Academic Success. In the Center for Academic Success, we have our Peer Tutoring Center, where you can be tutored by other students who have already taken the courses you have, or you can access our Student Accessibility Services to make sure all of your accommodations are met, both academic and residential, so everyone can get the most out of their time here at UVM. Behind me, you'll see our Davis Center. In the Davis Center, there are countless resources for our students, one of which being our Career Center. Students have access to the Career Center starting in their first semester, and it supports you with everything from resume building to job hunting through and beyond graduation. In the Davis Center, you can also find our Student Life Offices, which oversees and facilitates our 200 plus clubs here on campus, the offices for our Student Government Association. You can find our UVM bookstore, student media, whether that's our radio station or our newspapers. And if you're looking for support in study abroad or being an international student, you can head across Main Street and check out our Office of International Education. On the third floor of our Davis Center, you'll find our Diversity and Equity Unity Lounge. The Diversity and Equity Unity Lounge serves as the central hub for our four identity and affinity centers here on campus, those being the Women and Gender Equity Center, the Mosaic Center for Students of Color, our PRISM Center, and our Interface Center. All of the centers have their own physical locations and dedicated staff that work to not only support our students, but also educate and engage with the greater Burlington community. UVM puts a big emphasis on their students' health and well-being, and one of the ways we do that is through our athletics programs. Whether you're going to participate or watch in one of our Division I varsity athletics for our women's or men's teams, or you'd like to participate in our club or intramural teams, there's something for everyone. Our students, staff, and faculty also all get access to our fitness center, and you can have access to campus rec fitness classes where you can go with your friends or alone to participate in a group setting. UVM is dedicated to the mental health and well-being of our students. Housed within the Center for Health and Well-Being, we have both our counseling and psychiatry services, which offers free professional counseling to all students, and the Living Well Center, which is our mindfulness center. There you'll find things like the relaxation room, free yoga classes and massages, therapy dogs on Fridays, and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches during finals week. In addition to all these services, we also have UVM's own medical center, which is a level one trauma center right here on campus. Much like academics, an important part of the college experience is your residential life. UVM students live on campus for their first two years, but housing's available for all four. Students can live in anything from a single up to a suite style living, and you'll be placed in a residential learning community of your choice. We have a wide variety of residential learning communities here at UVM, ranging everywhere from leadership and innovation to sustainability or arts and creativity, there's something for everyone. Now I'm going to be talking about something that I know is very important to a lot of students, which is the food. At UVM, we have a combination of both traditional, all-you-care-to-eat facilities, as well as the retail locations. With over 10,000 students with 10,000 different appetites, we try to do our best to accommodate all of those needs. We have a registered dietitian on campus that works with students with more specific allergies or dietary restrictions. And in addition to all of that, UVM takes part in the Real Food Challenge, which is an effort to have as much organic and locally sourced food as possible. Above all, UVM cares about where our food comes from. There's more than 10 places on campus where you can find something to eat. 
My favorite place to eat on campus is the UVM Dairy Bar, which is home to fresh smoothies all day and ice cream with milk from our UVM Dairy Farm right down the road. When looking for colleges, I wanted somewhere where everything is available to you from the beginning and you can continue to grow throughout all of your time there. Whether that is accessing academic resources, clubs, or community experiences, all of them are available to our students starting from the second you walk on campus and throughout your time here, you'll find countless things that you want to continue to be involved in. When I was first looking at colleges, I did not want to go to UVM. I have two older sisters that both graduated from UVM, and so I wanted to branch out and have my own story. Um, I didn't want to follow in their footsteps. And so as I was visiting other schools, I quickly realized that I was comparing everything to UVM. It was my benchmark, and I was trying to find the, UV the things that UVM had to offer at other schools. It's a great college town, it has a fantastic community, and it took a little while, but I did come around to the idea of going to UVM. And since being here, I've realized it was absolutely the right choice. I've gotten to build so many fantastic relationships with professors and other students, and it has really become uh, my home. When I originally started the college search process, I thought that I wanted to be in a big city because of what I study, which is political science, and because of all the opportunities that a city offers, I thought that Burlington wouldn't fulfill all of those different needs. But after I came to UVM and I saw Burlington, I realized it had everything that I wanted in a school. I love that Burlington always has so many different opportunities and things to do. And whether that's um, going down to Burlington Bay to get creamies along the waterfront or going with my friends for a run along um, the bike path, there's lots of different uh, activities for students to do both on and off campus. And I love the fact that Burlington offers everything that a big city would, plus I have the opportunity to go out into the mountains or onto the lake anytime that I want to do something outside. <laughs> I want to thank you for joining us today and thank you to Fallon and Charlotte for coming along as well. Please don't hesitate to reach out to the university with any questions you have and you can find more information at uvm.edu. Can't wait to see you on campus. Am I too squinty?